What is going on YouTube? Gavin here. Welcome to this new video. Today I will be showing you something uh, a little bit different. I made a DIY home surveillance system uh, for security reasons. Uh, I just had some spare time and I uh, wanted something to work on. So here it is. Uh, DIY home surveillance. Uh, it's on GitHub. I will leave the link in the description, of course. And today we're going to explore this uh, software I made and see how it works and why it can be some kind of useful to you. So first of all, this is all open source. This is uh, released under the uh, GNU GPL V3 license. So uh, you can do basically whatever you want with this with, with this program. What, what we have to do, first of all, is to install this. And to do it, we're gonna open terminal. Um, these are the instructions for Linux. This program is, uh, supposed to be cross-platform so of course you should be able to run it on uh, other systems but since part of it is written in bash uh, it's probably uh, just gonna work fine on um, POSIX systems so I'm talking about um, Mac OS, Linux, maybe BSD but I'm not sure anyway you can still uh, use the core of this program and do do your thing with, if you're using Windows but for now we're gonna just uh, show this off with Linux. So first of all, we're gonna uh, clone the repository. So we're going to take this link here and git clone repository. You see, here are the full instructions. Then second thing is make sure you have Qt, eSpeak, and FS Webcam installed in your system. Also make sure you have a functioning webcam since uh, yeah, it's part of the surveillance system. It's uh, as you see, as you see here, it's webcam driven, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you need a webcam. Then we're gonna uh, CD into the project folder, so DIY home surveillance. And now we just compile the program. So we're on QMake, um, image compare QT, and as you see it's done, then we run make. Now we should have some files in here. Uh, let me show you in Atlas. Just, there we go. So as you see, we have some files here. This is the license, this is the README, and some other files. Uh, the one you need is image compare, this one. You don't actually need to exec, to exec this since it's part of the uh, script I made to monitor uh, everything. And it's this monitor, and let me just uh, show it to you. This is a bash file. Uh, I commented it. Um, as I could since uh, it is uh, mainly made for you to modify it and to adapt it to your needs so um, you see everything in here is commented and it's bash so I think anyone who can use a Linux terminal knows bash because bash is the language of the Linux terminal so you just run your comments here and it's I think it's pretty it's pretty decent code so it's even pretty simple just 36 line no like 10, 20 lines, not even that. So the first thing this program does is um, set a maximum uh, percentage of change allowed between pictures. If um, the percentage uh, returned by image compare over here is greater than five, then um, it will trigger the the, con the security condition and the uh, security action is executed. So what the program does is take a snapshot with the webcam uh, that's called one.jpg and then it runs an infinite loop with this while true and then it runs a, a sleep 10, a 10 second timer then it takes another screenshot, uh, another sorry, another snapshot and uh, then it compares them with image compare and returns that returns um, a percentage, an integral percentage um, of the difference. And if this difference is greater or equal to five, in my tests, the uh, required percentage uh, to have an actual change in the environment shown is seven, six, seven, that per percentage. So I just 
uh, I wanted to um, make it more sensible and raise it to five since um, the neutral condition is usually uh, not more no more than two percent then uh, if the condition is, um, is satisfied then he speak intruder alert basically uh, what this command does is um, execute uh, a loop um, that says vocally intruder alert so the computer speaks and says intruder alert it, it's pretty neat in my opinion uh, it's not of any use actually because if someone gets into your house and you're not there and it just hears intruder alert it's no use but you can configure this to do whatever you want so you can uh, let it send an email to you or if you have some um, smart locks or stuff like that you can just um, you know uh, lock everything up or uh, uh, link this to a phone and call the police or something like that you know it's it's a pretty useful thing I think in my opinion it, it's it's pretty nice and if this condition is not satisfied, then it just replaces the um, control image with the second picture so that change over time is minimized and uh, the percentage doesn't rise with normal changes like the change of lighting and stuff like that that happen through time. And this is basically everything. So what we need to do now is just execute this uh, monitor software. And let me just uh, switch to um to the camera so i can show you what happens so here we go again and now we're just gonna run this program and get out of the side of the webcam we'll let it throw like two times or so and see what happens you see you took the first photo then the second one and nothing happens because it doesn't detect any anything in its site that that's detected as intruder so no difference greater than uh, five percent so we're just gonna get here now look straight at the webcam and see what happens intruder alert there we go intruder alert intruder alert intruder alert intruder just alert. press ctrl c and see it's it's stopped it's pretty neat huh so guys, this is going to wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video this time because uh, it's my project. It's what I made. Even if it didn't take so much effort since it's a simple concept, I think it's very powerful. So I uh, want you to get down in the description and get to the GitHub link down there and take the project, fork it, expand it, make it useful and make it yours. Again, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.